Hello everyone, today we're going to explain how to export Gerber files in ECEDA. First, let's open the software. Then, select the project file we want to export today. This is a schematic and PCB that have already been drawn. We can take a look first. This is the finished product. Before exporting Gerber files, we need to confirm that our schematic has no serious issues. First, you should check it yourself. The software provides a checking tool. Use DRC to check if there are any issues in our schematic. After our check, we can see that the error count is zero. So there are actually no issues. As for the warn, we can take a look. There are two items. The first item indicates that this net is connected to only one endpoint, meaning it's only connected in one place and not to other locations. We confirm that during the design, it's not meant to connect to other locations, so we'll ignore this warning. The second warning is that these components are not standardized. This doesn't affect anything. We don't need to worry about anything else. So, our schematic check has passed. And our PCB also needs the same check. Use Design Check DRC. We found two errors. Let's take a look. Click here. It will jump directly to the error location. Let's see. It's indicated here. Let's zoom in. You can zoom in by scrolling the mouse wheel up. These two points are short-circuited. So we'll delete this trace. After deleting it, we'll check DRC again. This time, the DRC check passed. There are no errors. We also need to save. Save the file. After saving, we can start exporting the Gerber files we need. First, let's copy the file path. It will be easy to save it here later. Click this option, Export PCB Fabrication Files. Then, for the file name, we'll see if we need to modify it. If needed, go ahead and modify it. This option, this is the one-click export option in ECEDA. It already meets manufacturing requirements, so we don't need to change it. If you need to change it, you can click here to select the layers we need to export. This includes vias, silkscreen, and other information to be exported. Choose according to your needs. For standard manufacturing, this option is not necessary. So we can just use the one-click export function. Then, continue to click export. During export, it prompts again. First, perform a DRC check. Since we've already done it, we'll choose no. Continue to export. Continue to export, save it to our previous folder. Just click save. Then, we can see, this is the exported file. The exported file is a compressed archive. If we're manufacturing a PCB, we can directly submit this compressed file to the PCB manufacturer. That's all. The PCB manufacturing will be completed. We can also open it and take a look. It contains many files, including vias, and information for each layer. We don't need to modify any of these. Just close it, because for manufacturing, we only need to submit this compressed file. And then, if we want to proceed with PCBA manufacturing, for SMT assembly, we also need to export two more files. The first file is the bomb list. For the bomb list, just click export directly. All options can use the default settings. Do not modify these things. As for the file format, you can modify it according to the situation. Then the file name can also be modified according to your own needs. Then click export. Save it here again. Now we can see, there's a file starting with boom. 
This is the exported BOM table. If you need SMT, you'll need to provide this file. And SMT also requires another file. This coordinate file. It's the same for this one. The file format can be chosen according to your needs. The default Zelsex is already sufficient. See if the file name needs to be changed. Whether the unit is millimeters or mils, this also uses the default. The content to be exported is also default. Continue to export. After exporting, save it here again. In this folder, we now have an additional coordinate file. So now, using these files, we can complete the SMT manufacturing of the PCB and get the final product. Alright, thank you everyone. That's all for today.